going to be talking about 10 things I love about Bermuda. took my daughter to Bermuda for her birthday and it was beautiful. I booked the trip to Bermuda. The flight for both of us was probably $300 JetBlue from New York City, JFK Airport to Bermuda. It was around two, um, $300. I'm thinking it was not a lot at all. The hotels in Bermuda are crazy expensive. I think that there's ways to travel and experience luxury and experience um, the joys of traveling without having to come out of your pocket too much. Now, Bermuda is so close to New York City. It's right off of North Carolina, I believe. So the flight is very short. That's a plus and that's actually on my list of things that I really love is that it's easy monetary exchange. It wasn't hard figuring out how much change I should get back after every dollar I spent. That was good. Two, the beaches. Child, let me tell you, the beaches are beautiful. Now went in off season. So it was very cheap to get there, but when we got there, it was freezing cold. So this is something to take into consideration. If you go during like a peak season, you're good to go. But we went during the off season. We went in, in April and it was freezing. People were wearing jackets. I didn't even, first of all, I've never been to an island where people wore jackets. That was really strange to me, but it was so cold. People had on like leather jackets and stuff like that. So we went to the beach, we went to the pool, um, we went to some resorts and it was just so cold. We didn't even really get to use the pool the way we wanted to. We didn't get to swim in the water at the beach the way we wanted to, but it was still a beautiful experience and it's always nice to just get away no matter what the weather is. The beaches that I went to in Bermuda, Horseshoe Bay, Shelly Bay, Jobson's Cove. We also went to Elbow Beach. Um, we got a day pass for Coco Reef Resort and the day pass included the pool, a lunch, and that's when we got to try the fish cake. It also included beach chairs on their private beach, Elbow Beach, which is also one of, the, one of the nicer beaches. And it was really nice. It was quiet. The color of the water was beautiful. The atmosphere was beautiful. It was very quiet. Not a lot of people were on the beach because like I said, it was off peak season. So there weren't a lot of people there. So we did have a lot of space for ourselves and it was a great experience i also went to Ad i don't know how to pronounce it properly but admiralty house park that is a beach i did not go to the beach area but we did go to like a overlook area and it was beautiful but you can also go there we did experience that and it was very nice just the, the color of the water that alone so Horseshoe Bay is probably one of the most popular beaches in Bermuda. So that's one that you definitely should check out. I liked it. It's beautiful. It's huge. The water is beautiful. The water was rough when we went and that did not make me comfortable. But Shelly Bay, Jobson's Cove are my favorite. Shelly Bay is also a very calm. You can go pretty far out into the water without it getting too deep. And the water looked like jewels sparkling in the sunlight. It was beautiful like if i could go back to bermuda i will but i don't really want to go back right now number three i am from the caribbean i grew up drinking ginger beer i'm from the virgin islands my parents are from antigua my dad made ginger beer he grated it in a fine grater strains it um added sugar his little flavorings i grew up drinking ginger beer that is the thing so in bermuda they have the goslings or barrett's bermuda ginger beer so good on the rocks so good one cherry so delicious so if you're in Bermuda definitely try the goslings I, okay number four is the people coming from New York the people are the friendliest people you will meet they are so nice what <laughs> When did people become so nice? Like being from New York, this is like the meanest city in the world. People in New York City are so mean. The only time people in New York City are nice is when like a tragedy occurs, you know, something like a 9-11 or when someone gets shot or stabbed and the community decides that they want to come together. But in Bermuda, everyone is nice for no reason. Like why do we need a reason to come together and be nice? Be nice for no reason at all. Be nice because it's good to be nice. So in Bermuda, like people will just greet you. People greet you if you look lost. People will help you. People are so friendly out there. It's nice. You don't feel it was one of the safest places I've ever been to. That might actually be on my list. Let me check. I'm so sorry. Um, 
the people in Bermuda are so nice. They are always excited to help. They will answer all of your questions without an attitude. They seem to have a laid back and relaxed approach towards life. And that's a great way to live. It really is a great way to live. Um, and that's a good thing about travel because you could take that back home with you and say like, wow, I experienced this over here. Let me bring this home to where I'm from and see if I can, you know, change people's perspectives and attitudes about life. I felt safe. <laughs> number number five. I felt safe in Bermuda. Living in the Bronx, you know, you have to lock the doors behind you. We stayed at an Airbnb in Inghamsville in Spanish Town in Spanish Point, sorry, um, where our doors and windows were open during our entire stay. And I don't think Bermuda has a high crime rate. And although you should take great precaution wherever you go, this is a very safe island in my opinion. I felt very safe. I never felt threatened at any point by anyone. You know, we kept the windows and the doors open where we stayed in a place that I'm not familiar with. And I'm from New York. Hello, a thousand times. Not only am I from New York, I'm from one of the worst boroughs, according to outsiders, in New York City. The Bronx is no joke. So it's like... I watch my back in my own neighborhood. When I walk past certain people, I'm watching my back. My mom was robbed in the Bronx on her way to work. Somebody snatched her chain off her neck. So to be, to come from a place where you're constantly watching your back to be in a place where you feel like, I don't have to watch my back. I'm good. I feel safe. That's a great feeling. And that's what vacations should feel like, you know? I really liked how safe I felt in Bermuda. So that is another thing. Number six. And I, I hate to say number six. It bothers me to say this one because I know that this is what pays people bills. This is how people eat. This is how people live. But in all honesty, you want to come up to me and ask and approach me and ask me to purchase a seashell, a bracelet. That's fine. I respect that. You know, you have a life to live. You have bills to pay. You have family to take care of. But when you don't take no for an answer, it is annoying, number one. When you, when one person finished with you and then another person comes and then another person comes and you feel like you're being pulled in different directions, that is so annoying and that makes me so uncomfortable. I get anxieties from that. I didn't like that in Mexico and I did not like that in the Dominican Republic and I did not like that in Las Vegas. And those are three places that I really would not want to go back to and experience just for those reasons alone. But in Bermuda, I didn't experience that. Maybe once a guy rolled down his car window and said, you want to buy some mm -hmm. necklaces? And I was like, no thanks. And he rolled up his car window and kept it moving. And that was the only time someone ever asked me if I wanted to purchase something. And that made me comfortable. I really like that. And like I said, I hate that. I hate to even say that because I'm just like not a hater. I don't want to cut into anyone's finances. I want to see everybody win, especially me being an entrepreneur. But it's just so uncomfortable when people, you know, come at you like a hawk. Anyway. Number seven, the fish cake. Is that the national dish? I need to look that up. The fish cake is slamming for my foodies or people who love to eat. I thought I was a foodie, but there's certain things that I definitely won't try. But for my foodies, the fish cake in Bermuda is something you definitely need to try. And the best fish cake I had was at Coco Reef Resort. Oh my God. It was very small but the flavors were beyond magnificent. I'm gonna tell you what it was in. It was a fish cake on delicious crab bisque topped with a curry aioli. So good, it was so good, Coco Reef. I love you guys. I would go back there just for the fish cake. The beach was beautiful, but the fish cake was even better. <laughs> And then I'm just going to try to wrap this up and go a little faster with this because I know I'm taking my time. Um, what I also loved about Bermuda is that they have a fully functioning transit system. So they have a bus system that is amazing. will take you from one end of the island to the next at an affordable rate, which I love coming from New York City. Obviously, you know, we highly depend on our transit system. So it's good to go to an island, especially that has something like that. Number nine, if public transportation isn't your thing, taxis are readily available. Listen, taxis can be expensive, but it's a way to go around. There was one experience where the bus, we didn't know how to catch the bus from one area, and we were waiting at the bus stop, and it was getting dark, and we were in a neighborhood we weren't familiar with, and sure enough, a taxi pulled up, pull up, 
pick us up take us back to our home so if you need to catch a taxi you can call them you can hail them they're readily available also so they have a really good public transportation system and they have a good taxi system because there are some places that you go to that don't have good car service so that's a good thing and like I said number 10 my last one and I think I started with this is that Bermuda is only one hour and 45 minutes away from New York and like I said I took a short straight flight via JetBlue and it was perfect they seem very strict so if you are someone who smokes or you know if you're carrying smokes marijuana or something like that you know the dogs will sniff you out they are very strict they will call you like boo boo I'm gonna check your bags and stuff like that that's something to keep into mind when you go there it seems like a very strict island they don't play games when you go there so if you think you want to be carrying some drugs or something what you think again don't do it don't fly with that stuff mm -mm. wait till you get there ask somebody you know and I heard they might even be strict on the island so that's just to give you that information mm -hmm. and like I said to save money go during off peak season and stay at Airbnb because the hotel rates are very expensive it is a very expensive city and if you want recommendations on places to eat try lit restaurant l-i-t-t -T, lost in a triangle restaurant it's in Hamilton Another restaurant is Bermuda Bistro at the Beach. That's also in Hamilton. Hamilton is the place in Bermuda where all the action is. Hamilton is probably their version of Manhattan. Like New York City has Manhattan. Hamilton is probably Bermuda's version of Manhattan. So that's like the hub. That's where you catch all the buses. It's the main hot spot. So if you want to check out some restaurants, like I said, go to Lit Restaurant, Lost in a Triangle. Go to Bermuda Bistro at the Beach. I wrote two blogs about it. So you could go to my blog, MissMJXOXO.com, M-I-S-S-M-J-X-O-X-O.com. And you can read about Lost in a Triangle, Lit Restaurant, and um, Bermuda to bistro at the beach uh, another place that I went to that I didn't write about was in the dockyard and I forgot the name of these places I'm so sorry guys but it was like a little cute pastry cafe and we had fish fish cake sandwiches there and some pastries and something to drink some sodas so that was really nice so go to Bermuda it is a beautiful place if you're in New York City North Carolina South Carolina if you're on the East Coast especially it's not far from where we are, so go check it out. JetBlue, do your thing. So let me know if you've ever been to Bermuda. Tell me the places that you've been in Bermuda if you've gone before. And let me know what you really loved about it, what you experienced there, what you would do and wouldn't do again, what you wish you would have known before you've gone. Um, definitely drop your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, hit the notification bells, and... Thanks for your support. Hey junkies, visit my website at www.missmetropolitanjunkie.com. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.